Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the lineage OS 16.0 for our Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. Yes, it's finally out and it's really, really stable. Just a bug, fingerprint. Except that everything works fine. And yes, obviously no voltage. So, yeah, let's start with the video. So guys, the Galaxy S8 development started really late due to like really crazy and weird reasons, but yeah, never mind. Like finally Pi is here. We are using Lineage 16 on our device. And you guys will also do it. Like I know. Like many guys are excited about Lineage 16. They've been commenting on the videos from a long time. So yeah, here it is. Lineage 16. So let's start with the launcher here. And here we get the trebuchet launcher. So you can see. Uh, this is the Lineage 16 launcher. So you can see all icon, drawer, home screen settings. And we also have notification dots, so that should be a like proper thing. Also, we have the show Google app on the left side. So Google now is also present. Now moving to the drawer, you can see we get all Lineage apps. Also the like I install Nano G apps, and we have uh, uh, sorry, we do not have audio effects. So that is one weird missing thing. Maybe it is not working for our device. So never mind. Now we have this new Pi settings UI. You can see if you have installed Oreo, then like got uh, like rid of it. And now finally Pi. Android version, you can see it says Android 9, Pi, Lineage version, Lineage 16, and we get this uh, animation, so it's cute, like LOS logo with that. And we also have the 5 9, like, sorry, 5 March 2019 security patch, which is the latest one, also 1 March 2019 vendor security patch, that's really awesome. Then we have this space band version, so I'm on the latest Pi, and you can see the kernel 4.4.111, so it's a stock sample port kernel provided by Samsung. And you can see this is a March 25th build, so like it's just one day ago. Now guys, let's take a look at some lineage OS settings. So you can see into battery, you can see you get this new refreshed uh, battery UI, like the battery uh, like battery usage UI. You get the last full charge, your, it will show you like if your apps are running normally, like it's just normal stuff. And clicking, oops, here we have the battery usage patterns. See battery usage since full charge, everything it's like great. Also we have battery percentage and it will show the text to the right. We have uh, screen on time and all that shit. Into sound, we have, uh, oh we don't have the link uh, notification and uh, ring volume. So it's actually weird, I don't know why. And you can see audio as always working really well. Also vibrate for calls and here well, all of your like lineage OS normal options. Now into display we get this live display. Now unfortunately this doesn't work but guys never mind. We have style and you can choose between these accents. I hope lineage OS uh, like adapts that user accent request so that they can add more accent. Then sleep up to 10, 30 minutes. Display size. Now 7 where display size is present expanded desktop so you can like use if you want also ambient display now we don't have the always on display i've just like added that module so if you need i will just make another video on the magic modules but yeah this is how it works magic module and it's really nice like for our amulet display it's really good and for s8 if you want aod and it's better full screen apps present so full screen support is also there and prevent accidental wake up now guys you can see into the system we have this uh, status bar oops i can see the status bar quick pull down network traffic monitor system icons show seconds then brightness stuff now into the gestures here we have the swipe up on home button which is really great now these are the normal nav bar which is also present and enabling it will get you this new pill bar getting down uh, we have developer options and here we have advanced restart and here are uh, one more thing i need to show you guys here we have smallest width so you can just like change your dpi from here that's really great 401 is good but yeah like some people like it big or some people like it small so yeah you can just change it from here now guys i don't know why google assistant doesn't work by default but here is a like easy way to install it install it via play store now when you open for the first time it will just open the google app so go into settings choose assist now click on this assistant voice input and just place it on google and ok and boom your google assistant will start working 
now i had already done it and told someone and they had like really great they didn't had assistant working and now they have so yeah that is a small workaround you can say about that and also is always on display and some other stuff uh, uh, is missing so you can enable magisk modules so these are what i have installed now digital welding also you can see it works really nice uh, the digital welding from magisk and the feature grayscale which also works really nice and we have this cafe and all of this uh, stuff and also guys uh, nfc but i don't have any nfc device now to test so yeah if i test it i will just put it down in the description or i will just make it as a bug but yeah there was no references about it so maybe it is working now guys let's take a look at the camera so you can see i have these two cameras now like both are normal only so you can see this is the snapdragon camera and the selfie works really bad and worst selfie of my lifetime and this is the video recording works fine yeah you can see the focus and all it works really fine let's move to the normal camera as it clicks the picture there is just no shutter sound and yes everything works fine video recording and all so yeah this is the normal camera and this is the google camera but this is not a google cam modded google camera port this is a from the play store now if you install the modded google camera and yes camera 2 api is already like enabled so no need for it now if you install the modded google camera then you will face video recording issues like it just doesn't work so i don't know why but yeah maybe it's just a gcam shit or something is like getting uh, uh having trouble with the uh, rom but yeah maybe we can fix it in the next versions like the developer so that's it guys uh, for this video and that is a cool review of this uh, new lineage os like this is the first pi build for our galaxy set now let's move to the installation and yes that is for what you guys are really interested in so yeah let's go and it's like easy like every time i do the same shit but yeah still i have to uh, show you guys that this is the installation and all so yeah let's start okay guys so you have uh, if you are on a custom rom then just reboot into recovery using the advanced power menu or just power off your device yeah this is also a weird thing shutting down i uh, think it comes uh, but yeah i'm like really okay press the volume up and yes i guess you guys are having tdrv recovery installed what the fuck is happening oh let the device power off first then press the volume up the big spy and the power button so guys if you have not installed tdrv just check out this video i have made it just the latest video now okay go to backup and if you want to backup your older rom just back it up faster like quickly sorry not faster wipe this shit no need to wipe internal or sd card the brightness is a bit more now it's good go to install and then you will get those two zips the lineage was 16 and the open g apps links for both are in the description so do not worry Now it's getting installed so let's wait for it to get installed and then i will show you the boot animation okay guys so installation is complete now just reboot system and the boot logo and guys you can see the lineage was boot animation and it will boot maybe like less than like it will just like 10 to 20 seconds so yes guys that's it for the video if you guys really like this video press the like button If not, then the dislike button, subscribe here, the red button for the more videos. Also press the bell icon if you need instant notifications. And yeah, see you guys in next one with this Galaxy Z or other of my devices. And bye bye.